Okay, we're about 45 clicks launch. That sun feels nice. Street for about 35 kilometers all the way to wherever I am right now. About 35 kilometers of cloud street. And now there's this cloud, and then yeah, we'll see how, what happens. So I just got a massive climb after it. Just when I reach 150 kilometer mark, massive thermal all the way up here. It's four o'clock, and it's still pumping. Last 50 kilometers were, like, were super easy, lifting lines, and now I'm under this really dark cloud. Uh, I think I'm above 2400 meters now, freezing. But uh, to the east of me is this really big forest that I don't think I can cross. Um, the right is this canyon. In the middle there's a road. I think I might be able to land along there somewhere. I really need to go take a leak and I need to thaw out as well. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, I'm speechless. What an incredible flight. Ah, oh, I'm shaking with the cold and the last few clothes was just super scary. I thought I was gonna get blown over the mountains into the trees. Tons of power lines around here, really rough and super buoyant. Had a really hard time coming down. And at the same time, I'm trying to reach the 160K mark. And in the end, it just turned out perfectly. Just beautiful landing in this nice paddock. That was incredible. Super, super stoked. I was up in that cloud street and I could have just kept going, but I feel like I'd reached the end of the world. <laughs> there was, there's just forest beyond there huge canyons to the other side and I couldn't really see where I would land if I if I ended up going there but there was there's a lot of lift and I was really really cold yeah I I don't think I would have made it well I don't know where I would have ended up so happy with this flight Everything went well, including the landing. Just couldn't have asked for a better flight. Cloud streets the whole way. And just such a low save. I think my lowest save ever. Um, but it was a weird one. It was just not a very light one, just super strong wind. And it was like I was in a rodeo and just rocketed out of there. And then that was just before. 10 kilometers, nine kilometers, I think over um, uh, 90, 91 kilometers. And I thought I was gonna deck it there and it was so disappointing. Um, and then right at the 100, 150 kilometer mark, um, just got a thermal, went up in that cloud street. I just, that, that one there. And then it was just that range. The, the wind was just pushing me back. Uh, over that into that range and it was just super scary i didn't know if if i got pushed back in I, it was definitely a tree landing and and then when i cut across to come on this side uh the wind was really strong i was on full speed bar um trying to to cut diagonally and it was just kind of sitting there and had to big gear and then thankfully once i got a bit low behind the uh the bridges over there, just the wind dropped a little bit and uh, just ended up landing in this beautiful field. Uh. 
I still haven't dropped my pin. <laughs> I'm gonna call home now, talk to the kids in Oma.